A 5.9 magnitude earthquake rocked northern Haiti overnight. Initial reports still coming in, but officials say at least 10 people are dead and more than 100 injured, with several structures collapsing as well. Bang, bang, what's up, Patek and Mel? I was gonna report on this last night, the earthquake that happened in Haiti around 8, 11 p.m. I have a lot of close people in my life that I consider to be family, that are Haitian. My daughter is part Haitian, people that are really close to me. So the reports are saying that it was a 5.9 magnitude earthquake. It happened last night around 8. There's 10 to 13 people that were killed, over 135 people that were injured, and those are just the numbers right now. So this earthquake wasn't as big as the one that happened in 2010, which was a 7.1 magnitude earthquake and killed over 300,000 people. I actually would like to visit Haiti. I've never been there. I'm from Dominican Republic and uh, it's pretty cool anytime I've ever gone and had a chance to visit back home. I can only really stay there for a week and I'm just keeping it real. Going to Dominican Republic makes me appreciate the US 100% so much more. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm just, you know, the whole technological advances that we have here it makes me appreciate it more and the opportunities that we have here in the US. That's why people come here. But I still love going back and going back home and seeing how people live and how sometimes in some places it's a simpler life especially on the countryside and i'll keep it real on here um my thoughts my vision of haiti was always like a place that was completely impoverished and that was like criminal ridden i'll be completely honest with you but i've spoken to a lot of haitians that were like it's not like that that's what you see in the media that's what you see I mean, i'm sure there's parts of it that's like that but it's not everywhere uh, so that's why i kind of want to go see it for myself and even dominican republic's like that i've gone to places uh, one of the places where my family's from is san pedro which is you know it's not like a rich area so i've seen some things you know some places it's really not a place that i want to live but then there's other parts of the country that's beautiful you know and it looks great so i would love to go one day to see for myself what it's like over there in haiti i think i might be going off on a little bit of a tangent off topic which is something i always do but Here's another little comparison. It kind of reminds me of, um, okay, I'm, I live in South Florida. Has anybody ever heard of a place called Overtown? Overtown? Oh my God. You go there to like die or buy illicit substances. Like that place is so run down. It looks like a third world country over there. You know what I'm saying? So like, I guess some places has its good areas, its bad areas. I hope that none of you have lost your family out there and, or friends. And I think the hard thing about Haiti or any other country out there that's small like that is that they don't have the support and a, a lot of parts of their countries, whether it be Haiti, Dominican Republic, or other countries are like impoverished. They don't have the funds or support. Or a lot of times too, which I've heard a lot of people tell me, uh, especially from uh, Haiti that a lot of times the government is corrupt. And when you have a corrupt government, I think in my personal opinion, on a smaller scale, it affects people on a larger scale because there's just not much to go around versus the US. Yeah, there's corruption, but there's a lot more social media, there's a lot more impact, I feel, going on here than in some other countries. And some of these places might not have all the checks and balances that the US has. And obviously, even with the checks and balances that we have, we still have problems. Can you imagine in other countries? And the people that are probably the most affected are the poor people that, that people up top don't care about, that there's not gonna be any support for them, that they don't have the building structures or, or the foundation for the property not to be completely destroyed. And let me end off with this. I wanna ask a question, actually. You know how we have FEMA when there's like natural disasters and things like that, that there's an organization that's in place to help and support people even to for funding for groceries you know we had the hurricane here and like they'll pay for some of your groceries and you can assess your damages and all that stuff does haiti have something like that that's what i'm kind of curious about so maybe somebody can comment down below and kind of educate me and let me know about that because i'm curious and if they do have something like that probably not to the capacity that the u.s has and sure there's other countries that come and help countries in need but just look at the clinton foundation i'll go back to that they didn't get nothing out of that i didn't see nothing out of that foundation that's what really left the distaste in my mouth for the clintons you guys comment down below um my condolences to any people that have lost family or friends out there thankfully it's not that many casualties though i know understand that even just one person that's somebody's family member or or friend or even if it's one person it's still you know catastrophic for that family member but thankfully it wasn't worse you know the numbers could rise um uh, but comment down below let me know your thoughts make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button and help me continue to grow peace <laughs>
Can I sit up? <laughs> oh, and one more thing, the last thing I promise. One of the dopest things I think about Haiti uh, that I know of, I don't claim to be a historian or to know everything or to know all the history, but the rebellion, the anti-slavery rebellion. To give you more specific details, on Wikipedia it has, the Haitian revolution was a successful anti-slavery, anti-colonial insurrection by self-liberated slaves against French colonial rule in Saint Domingue, now the sovereign nation of Haiti. It began August 22nd, 1791 at 10 o'clock and ended in 1804 with the formal colony's independence. It involved blacks, mulattoes, French, Spanish, and British participants with the ex-slave Toussaint Louverture, hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that, emerging as Haiti's most charismatic hero. It was the only slave uprising that led to the founding of a state which was both free from slavery, ruled by non-whites and former captives. It is now widely seen as a defining moment in history of racism in the Atlantic world. And that's one of the things that's pretty dope, I think, about Haiti. It goes a lot deeper than that. There's a lot more details, you know, even on Wikipedia, but I won't go in depth because YouTube, the algorithm would probably censor it. They really went all out to get their independence. So that's just my thoughts, man. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, help me to continue to grow and peace. I see potential subscribers. Peace, love, prosperity, subscribe, all right?